this season, Rachel Blackmore has emerged as a trailblazer for female riders across Ireland. I first met the 27-year-old just under three years ago when she joined a group of young jockeys travelling to England to undertake coaching with me. What instantly struck me about Rachel was her work ethic. She was eager to learn and determined to succeed. Even at this early stage of her career, she was talking of turning professional and becoming the first female to do so since Maria Cullen in the 1980s. An amateur at the time, Rachel's first winner came aboard Stowaway Pearl, a victory that introduced her to trainer Shah Cannon. I didn't even know her when I gave her her first winner. She, um, just David Russell recommended me. There was a ladies' race in Turles, and um, I had no one to ride a horse that we thought might win. And um, I remember asking David Russell, "Who would I, who would I ask?" And he said. Um, told me that he knew this girl and she was good. So we gave her a ride the first time I think I ever met her was in Torlis. And um, well, the horse has jumped well and she gave her the peach. The decision to turn professional followed shortly after. It was actually uh, Shaq Hanlon who approached me and said he'd have a lot more opportunities in his yard for me if I was to turn professional. So. Look, I had nothing to lose. Um, a couple of people said it mightn't be the right choice, but in my view, I had nothing to lose, so I said I'd give it a go, and like Shaq said, he'd stand by me, so that's a massive plus for anyone taking going down that route, you know, to have someone behind you saying they'll support you. She was riding pint of painters. She was getting probably the dirt of the pint of painters, and she was going to end up getting hurt. You know, she, she, she was a very good rider, but uh, no matter how good a rider you are, if you have a horse that can't jump, you can't make him jump. And I, I, I went racing one day, pint to pint, and she had two rides, and she was lucky she didn't get two horrible falls. And coming home that evening, I said to my own Rachel, I said, listen, I said, I wonder would she ever turn? And I asked her, and she thought I was cracked. I was happy riding, but I was, uh, I, I felt like I wasn't, I wasn't fulfilling what I wanted to do either. I kind of reached a stage where I had to either either find a real job um, or, I don't know, blank space. So thankfully blank space was, was turning professional. She was going to get her chance with me and if it worked, it worked. I, I remember she went home to her parents and asked them and I said they all thought that she was mad even thinking about doing it. But she's a great worker. She, like, she's a girl that deserves it because she's around my yard here, she's unreal. And um, now, she gets off a couple of days to go to different places and every, anywhere she's going, they all love her, you know. And she's, I don't know what kind of pair of hands she has, but she's a great girl to get a horse to jump. You know, if, you, if I had a horse in the middle and jumper, she'd have to get him settled, jumping. And I think that has her where she is today. Now, on the 29th of April, Rachel will become the first female to be crowned champion conditional in Ireland. An achievement that has caught the eye of some of the sport's most prominent figures. It, it's a huge achievement, I think. You know, she's a natural lightweight, but for people who think that strength means so much, you know, she's got other qualities. And uh, positioning in a race, she's able to get horses running and she never gives up. Uh, she gets horses jumping too. She has a lot of things that, you know, other than strength, than real strength, um, that a lot of the men have. Uh, and she uses them uh, to her advantage. Mm. And, uh, you know, I'm delighted to see her doing it. She's fully committed, um, rides really well, very good over a jump, but, you know, she's a good racing brain. She finds herself in the right place, the right time. You wouldn't look at her as being a, a girl. You wouldn't look at her any differently out there from any of the lads. She's, you know, she, she knows how to hold her corner and she rides well. Oh, it's an unbelievable achievement. I mean, when I first heard that Rachel was, was turning professional, I thought she was, she was a bit mad to do it, but uh, she's an unbelievable. She's worked very hard this year. I think as the year has gone on, she's got better and better. She's got a lot stronger. Uh, she, her work ethic is unbelievable. She works day and night. She's fantastic, and she rides. She rides a fantastic race. You know, I suppose the big thing for for a lady in a race is is not standing make, standing out from the lads, and she doesn't. You couldn't pick her out from any different. She's getting stronger every day. I mean, and uh, no, she's a credit, and she's a great ambassador for other ladies that want to go into the profession of being a jockey. And it just goes to show if you work hard and, and 
try as hard as she does, then it, it can be done. You know, she's brilliant and, and she's talented, and I think that's what's so nice is that you know she people have noticed that she's very talented and has a gift, and and she's being rewarded with outside rides and and plenty of winners, and you know she's got every right to be champion conditional because she's you know she's got that level of skill and and experience, and yeah, I mean when when you're capable, you know you should be given opportunities, and she's proving that that, that she can. I don't think I've ever seen anyone work as hard in a game. Uh, you know, she's right out of anywhere that she can. She could appear in my yard any morning to, to ride out. And, um, you know, she's getting what she deserves, I think. It's, uh, she's such a hard worker and a fantastic rider. Gives everything a ride as if her life depended on it. And, you know, that's the reward she gets. And I think it's, it's uh, a great achievement. So congratulations to her. So what next for Rachel Blackmore? A Cheltenham Festival winner, perhaps? That's the next goal after tasting the atmosphere when fourth in this year's Triumph Hurling. Absolutely fantastic to be there, like to ride in, ride in a grade one and then to finish fourth in one. I uh, got to walk back into the, the winner's circle and look, it was brilliant. Um, it would kind of give you, give you a small fraction of a taste of what it would be like to, to, to actually ride a winner there. And uh, look, that would be a massive, uh, a massive goal. I don't think there's a jockey in the weigh room who doesn't want to ride a, a winner in Cheltenham. Um, one of the one of the big big races, you know, it would just be fantastic. Um, any of the races, actually. <laughs>